feet narrower and one sixth the weight of the Tomahawk cruise missile. On the takeoff roll, here's Tom Larkin, the subsonic mini jet. And he earned his pilot's license in just 62 days at the ripe age of 19. He then earned a degree in aerospace engineering from Georgia Tech and joined the airplane. Now this airplane comes as a kit manufactured by Sonics of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. You buy the kit, you build the kit, you get it inspected by the FAA. And here it comes from the right. Big advantage for one thing, 
you're not constantly in search of fuel while you're in the air. And the second is, it takes the weather out of the equation as well. You don't want to fly this in heavy weather by any means. Back on the vertical again, demonstrating the 11,000 feet per minute climb. That's Tom Larkin, the subsonic speed jet. So after you take the wings off the airplane and put it in the trailer, the weather becomes immaterial. We've been driving through rain. Well, geez, since the Pony Express and before. So being in the rain in a vehicle or on a horse, not a big deal these days, especially with all the wonderful highway systems that we have. Next, taking this airplane to the top air shows so much nicer than flying. Center here too, and that is the life of the engine. You get, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I've heard a hundred, I've heard six hundred hours of flight time on the engine before you just pretty much use it as a boat anchor. I've just been told it's three hundred hours recommended flight time on the engine and then after that you buy a new one. The problem being is that engine is sixty thousand dollars. When you say out here we go maximum speed turn he's gonna put this airplane on its wind pull six G's and do a minimum radius high performance turn. With any mini airplane. And obviously, Tom Larkin loves doing it. Get your cameras and camcorders ready. Tom Larkin is setting up for his total pass. There he is. turbojet and I'm sure that some of the guys that are out there that have that airplane have switched over to this TBS engine. The second one which is the FLS microjet which is a BD-5 look-alike but is actually a whole brand new airplane and now of course the subsonics mini jet. In just a moment, Tom Larkin is going to bring his mini jet in. And he's going to set this thing down. It is a tiny, tiny little airplane. Somebody once said to me after an air show that it looks more like a Christmas tree ornament than an actual flying aircraft. I assured them it does fly and it flies quite well. One of the other reasons you can't go supersonic in this airplane, it's held together with puff ribbons. Now, they're not hardware store El Cheapos. These are aviation-grade puff ribbons. They are much stronger.